See all these fresh leaves on the ground? The drone did that, chopped them up. <laughs> rolled over to 15,000 miles. It was a year ago today Yes. we brought this home. Yep, it's <laughs> been a year and I'm sure we still have a couple hundred miles to go before our next stop, so but that's crazy. Light check. It's as good. Lights are flashing. More lights are flashing. Of course, it's raining. Wouldn't have it any other way, right? Let's get out of here. See if we can snag a walk in. They still exist here in Missouri. Hoping for a full hookup. Fingers crossed. Piper's ready to go. Piper is taking my passenger seat. No surprise there. Well, it looks like someone just left their tent here. They said, <laughs> I quit. It rained pretty hard today. Yeah, it did. Maybe they just left. <laughs> like, we're done with your tent. Piper's been cooped up far too long. She's got Mike running. Guy and I are doing just fine. <laughs> mm -hmm. And all these uh, sites right on the water are all non-electric tent sites. Why is it always like that? I want a water site sometimes. Well, they got some, there's like a motorhome here. There's a motorhome there. We just choose to not have electric. Yeah, we've been doing that for the past X amount of days, yeah, couple I know. weeks. This is so where I'm kind of treating myself. We have 50 amp power. Yeah, we're fancy. Lake of the Ozarks State Park. Biggest one in Missouri. Let's see what this water feels like. 
It's chilly, but it's not nearly as cold as the water in Idaho. That is for sure. I'll never get Mike to touch it. Went on that little walk and he's just been doing this ever since. Zonked out. <laughs> I thought about taking a nap. It is very peaceful. This is excellent weather. It's like 78 degrees, but there's a breeze rolling through. Yeah, we don't have AC on. All the windows are open. It's we even have the uh, fantastic pan up there on, sucking air out. Been nice. Think we're gonna grill out some burgers tonight. Yep. Before the rain hits us. Tonight. Yeah, it's gonna rain like all day tomorrow. Yeah. That didn't go as planned, did it? No, I'm downloading all the files right now. All right, well, Mike was flying the drone. We, neither of us really know what the heck happened. We were both out here when it went insane. It, yeah, it went crazy. It just started flying sideways and then it went straight up and now it's stuck in the tree. Yeah, it like hit a tree, <laughs> the leaves, and just like, it was already going crazy. Then it hit leaves and it was just like shot straight up. And I was like, what are you doing? He's like, I'm not doing it. <laughs> So let's go find it. See all these fresh leaves on the ground? The drone did that, chopped them up. <laughs> all right, it is up this tree. Way there. It is way up there. There's no way we're getting that back. I'm hoping it'll get windy. <laughs> I'll just pull it right out of there. Right there it is. Well, the burgers are cooking. They say bad things come in threes. First bad thing to happen was we we're coming out to walk the dogs <laughs> and the leashes caught my phone and literally flung it across. And at first Lynn thought, oh, was... my phone is smashed. So I peeled the protector, the screen protector off. And it's just the screen protector. Yes. Yeah. Then it was the drone incident, mm -hmm. which is still in the tree. And then Lynn says, go ahead and get the grill ready. I'm going to make your burgers. So uh, I got the grill out and set up and I'm scrubbing it with the, the brushy thing. <laughs> it just breaks. It just <laughs> breaks out of nowhere. <laughs> but that's three. I'm counting that as three things. We're not winning today. No. Maybe we should have not paid for camping. That seems to be the common denominator. we went so long without paying for a campsite. We pay for a campsite and... Boom. <laughs> Boom, boom. <laughs> what's your problem, Piper? Guy doesn't even know what's happening. He's just like, hold me. There was like six of them over there. Yeah, it's just been all over the place. Hey. Guy don't care. He just wants pets. Yeah, he just wants attention. How was your burger, Mikey? It was delicious. Good. So Mike's having burgers, and I thought, well, I'll just have a grilled cheese or something. And then I got to thinking, and I sat down, I played with my phone, and then this happened. <laughs> what is happening today? Uh, I'm still going to eat it, because the other side isn't like that, but... <laughs> oh, man, it's just been a... It's been a day. Yeah, it's been a day. I think we just need to call it call it a night here. Yeah. Because I this can't keep happening. Well, our camp post found our drone. Yep, droney has a broken arm. That's so sad. Yeah. I knew eventually it would come down. <laughs> Get down off the I yard. just wish I was there when it did so that I could try to catch it before the rain. Gosh. Upon further inspection, I think um, droney's just gonna rest in peace so everybody prayers for droney <laughs> give cool. a give a thumbs up if you're sad <laughs> yeah. that our almost new drone has met its demise oh, it was i would say almost new it was brand new for yeah. this trip uh full of full of water so droney is full of water um i don't know if the camera's okay or not I haven't tried to turn it on um broken arm and then back here this is broken and then this is broken so it's 
I'm just gonna throw it away. Yeah, you can send them back to DJI and get them fixed, but it's it's gonna go to the dumpster. It's it's so sad. I was really loving the footage I was being able to put into the videos because I've been doing all of the editing since uh, late last year. Yeah. So I was enjoying having a couple. I mean, it downpoured rain all night long. And at some point, Joni fell out of the tree and then just got rained on. It just rained on when he was in the tree. So what do you think we should do? <laughs> Let us know in the comments below. Should we hold a vigil? Should it be buried along with the dehumidifier that is yet to meet its its <laughs> maker? Speaking of that dehumidifier, you guys haven't held up your end of the deal. I said 5,000 comments on Dave's video <laughs> and we're not even close to it. So that's why we haven't smashed we it. We still have it. Yeah. It's, yeah. So let us know. What do you think we should do? Should we get another drone? Should we just say, Wait on it. He's doing so good. Hmm. Taking the Jeep out. Where are we going, Mikey? Well, the weather's just been like this. Yeah. It's just been blah. Yeah. Overcast, rain, muddy. Yeah. So we're gonna go get dinner. Ooh. We're gonna go to Wobbly Boots. It's uh, a local place that Mike saw and he's like, oh, Wobbly Boots looks interesting. <laughs> I got barbecue and I've never been to Wobbly Boots before. <laughs> let's, let's see if the boots are wobbly. <laughs> or if they will be. Yeah. your boots been wobbled <laughs> no they haven't but man it was good food yeah i've i should have got the half rack but now i've got plenty to uh yeah he's got like three whole meals left in this box yeah i grabbed the bread and give it to the dogs yeah it's got barbecue sauce on it so they'll love it you'll be all excited but yeah it was very good yeah. the service was excellent they were on it that little box weighs like five pounds. Yeah, it's super heavy. Man. But as you can see, back to rain. Hoping it'll stop because we want to do another walk with the dogs tonight. So Yeah, we've been trying to walk between rain. Yeah, right. it's all we can do. Let's go. So the story goes with the drone. That it was hovering about, I don't know, 15 feet above the ground, just looking like right at our campsite. And I had my phone on the controller and I was going through the different menus in the app to change some of the settings. And the drone just started to go to the left, just all by itself. We just started going to the left, got into some branches and it kind of like did a barrel roll. It like got, <laughs> right? And then it just like was completely sideways and shot back to the right. And then it went straight up. Like in sport mode. Yeah fast it was moving and it just went straight up hit some more branches and then just got caught just got lodged in the tree and um at some point overnight it fell down but we don't know why like mike was not touching any of the controllers um some other people have said maybe it sensed something that wasn't there and tried, and to, tried move to move away. away and then it moved itself into something yeah it, it was a DJI, which has a really good reputation, but in my opinion, it's way, way overpriced for what it is. It flew fast, it moved really well, but it, in the end, it moved itself really well into a tree, all on its own. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Deer doesn't even care, Pipe. She's snorting all over. <laughs> Jurassic Park in here with her. <laughs> she thinks she needs to be a velociraptor. We're going to do some hiking today. It finally stopped raining. <laughs> yeah, finally. At least for now. It, it may still rain today. So we got the doggies back here. I don't know if you can see them. But... They've been cooped up in the race for days now. So yeah. we're going to get them out and get some energy. We're going to get some miles in today. Miles and smiles. <laughs> well, there's so many deer. No, they're not even scared. No, I bet you they'd eat right out of my hand. They're all tiny. There's like no parents or adults anywhere. <laughs> all out here unsupervised. 
Piper's very interested in the deer though. go very far maybe a mile I think we went a mile and a half yeah a mile and a half and it is just so humid yeah. that we're not acclimated to the heat humidity it's not really hot it's only like 72 but the humidity because it's been raining yeah sky high we're acclimated to winter camping yeah <laughs> I'm used to bundling up for a hike not wishing I had shorts and a tank top on all right so <laughs> we have to go back and change yeah other than that, it's been a very beautiful hike so far. Oh yeah, really good trails. Lots of rocks and a little bit rugged, but not too bad. Ew, it's on you! Get it. I can't see it now. It's gone. Freaking ticks. Ticks are bad. Yeah, we've nicknamed this park deer. Ticks and t Deer and Ticks or something. Deer and Ticks. I mean, we've just been finding ticks constantly. constantly. It's not necessarily the location. Yes, we have been treated. The dogs have been treated. But they're just, we find them crawling around, you know. Constant battle with the ticks here. Constant. Better so it's a little snake friend that guy doesn't see. He's... Move it. Oh, oh let's just leave him. Mm, he's fine. I was gonna move him off the trail, but. ticks anyone generator is running just filled up fresh got the dryer going with our comforter and a couple blankets from our bed washer going with some clothes that's about 10 15 p.m. We're at the dump station Jeep hooked up fill up the fresh tank dumping the black and gray Lynn's inside, she got the generator going. We can do a load of laundry on the road. You might think it's a little late to be heading out, but I always say the nighttime is the right time. I make the best time at night. This generator is really coming in handy for all of these on the road cleaning necessities. It's been really nice to just be able to turn on the generator, do a load of laundry, we fill and dump you know, as we come and go, and it hasn't been a problem. It's been really nice, so. Next up, uh, not sure where we're going, but we're gonna hope to avoid the ticks at the next destination. <laughs> Didn't make it very far last night. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that wasn't really the intention. It was like, get a little head start. Yeah, we're at the Petro in Kingdom City, Missouri. But like Lynn said, it was just a head start. Yeah. I really enjoyed the park. Yeah. Despite the ticks. <laughs> that was probably the only downfall. I mean, I can't blame the park on ticks and rain. It, we had just a whole string of bad <laughs> luck. It was just like, ugh. It's definitely a park I would come back to again. Maybe we'll hit, hit it up in the winter. Yeah, that's something that we talked about was how we thought it was actually a really nice park and it would be perfect for winter camping. So maybe we'll have to do that. What do you guys think? Should we go there in the winter? Showcase it a little bit more, maybe without the ticks. <laughs> but I guess for now, I guess we're gonna get back on the road and find a new park. We're out of here. See ya. That was a close call. <laughs> we almost stepped on a rattlesnake. 